Well, how the fuck? And then I stopped. You know what I bumped into? My mom took like, you yeah, like, she's going to murder me. A already. guy. I, I'm, I'm lost. I'm in the fucking. I'm not going to let her do I'm, the I'm, information. All these different fucking. I'm in the middle of Saugus. Yeah. And I said, am I in Saugus? The guy goes, oh, you're in Saugus. And he walks out. I said, and you're Lenny Clark? I said, yes, I am. He says. I'm Jonathan's father, the kid who works at Giggles. I yeah. said, oh my God, so nice to meet you. He goes, you want me to take you where you're going? I said, I'm sure it's nowhere near here. And he goes, oh, calls his wife, how do you get out of Santa Street? Yeah. Wow, there's no Santa, Santa Street. Santa Street, it's he a central. I heard him and he's like, what oh the fuck? God. And I was like, oh my God, I just pissed off Lenny Clark. And then I called her and I was like, I'm having full-blown anxiety in the car right now. And she's like, Devin, I'm like, I'm having anxiety. <laughs> Why don't you guys get, yep. so continue keep okay. going? Yes. I have so many questions, Lenny. Here, you Sit go down. first. Where do I, where, where oh, do I I'm should, in first. Right, 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 right. Right. Will you take a couple of uh, shots with this group, do you mind? Yeah, of course. Right, right, right. Yay! I can send you a I'm cold. Oh, oh, you can? Oh, that's <gasps> wonderful, yes. You had to wear that necklace? It's Why, beautiful. you don't like my necklace? Oh, it's gorgeous. See? Mm -hmm. I knew he'd like it. Thank you. Oh, I do like it. He likes my jewelry. I do. I love your jewelry. She thinks I'm too much. Really? I yeah. don't think you're too much. You're never I just too don't much. Like this. Everyone, look over here and smile. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. So. Okay. Devin. Devin gave. Devin. Any water for you guys? I'm good. I got my water Thank right you. here. I grabbed a water. Is that Lenny's water? Yeah, that's okay. me. So. So Devin. I'm very excited. Screwed up today. already. I already screwed up because I'm she not the brightest person apology. in the world. No, no, no. I do. I, I love Lenny more than anything and, he knows. And I love you. It's just, I, I'm. My father always told me if you're not 15 minutes early, you're 10 minutes you're late. You're always early. And Belichick says, you know, he's insane. So Belichick comes. To, are we on? Are we doing this? We're yes. doing it. Okay. Go, I was going to introduce uh, you, oh. but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he never tells. <laughs> But I was gonna introduce. Can I introduce you? Yes, I think. Before we get to your story. <laughs> oh, so oh, she just guys, so I'm very, too. very excited because my one of my favorite humans in the entire world is here, Lenny Clark, mm -hmm. the amazing, handsome. I'm gonna sexually harass you throughout this entire podcast. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Is you there know. something I could sign to allow that? I'll write out an MDMA here. <laughs> <laughs> and just be like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Every time that I go to one of your shows, I actually tell my friends I could get arrested for molesting someone tonight. And they're like, you don't like Lenny. I'm like, I just want to touch his butt and hug him. Well, I'm fine. Sure. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm very excited that you're here. Thank you well, so much for coming. Well, okay. Well, you know what? I'm so glad that I could do it. You know, I love your mother and, and I love you, but what were you thinking? You gave me the wrong <laughs> address the wrong time. Fortunately, I oh was in God. someone's yard and the guy came out of the house and he says, you're Lenny Clark. I said, yes, I am. And they said, Lenny, what, where are you going? I said, I'm sure I'm nowhere close. I'm in, on a pond. And, and, and with, uh, with high tension wires. I said, what, what the well, fuck? So anyway, uh, he said, uh, oh he calls God. his wife out. How do you still send a street? And I go, it's like, I finally get you. Oh, it's central. Central? Uh, so just say next to the crowd he plays. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> or, 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 or the barber shop with Jeff barbershop. and Nico. Then everyone would know it. <laughs> so now, yeah, oh God. So now I finally get here. So and I'm I'm never late. I'm never late. No. As I started no. to tell you, my father told me if you're not 15 minutes early, you're 10 minutes late. Yeah. So I've, I've lived by that all my life. Never yeah. been late for any appointment. Yeah. And uh, Belichick, one day Belichick same way. You got to be early for Belichick. So one yeah. day two guys, three guys came into a team meeting late, and he sent them home. That very next week, you you want to meet for dinner or not? Then yeah. So we go to, uh, 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 I forget Nico's, uh, 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 Nick's, Nick's place. So anyway, we're there, and uh, he calls me. He says, "Lenny, I'm going to be a few minutes late." And I said, "No problem, Bill." So I get up and I said, "Everybody in the restaurant, listen. Bill Belichick's going to walk through that door in about ten minutes. When he comes through, everyone go like this and touch your watch." I, so Belichick, <laughs> Belichick walks in and he's looking around. He, I wave to me. He goes, oh, "And everyone." Will Point says the oh thing with a watch. I said, you're late. Go the fuck home. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was ready for, like, no. to get yelled at when I'm, like, pulling up. And no, like, oh, I can't oh, yell God, at oh, you. God, oh, God, oh, yeah. God. I was like, but I love it, you. But it, see? You'll get you. But no. 
now. <laughs> I told him, I was like, please make fun of me in that way. <laughs> I'm like, I know. But you know what? It's really not my fault for that because I wasn't raised the same. Mm. My mom was always late for everything. I don't know what she's talking about. She had you on time. That's not what matters. She didn't. I was Actually, late. She was chewing. You were late? I yeah. was late. Oh, my God. Exactly. Well, that's what happened. Yeah, See? and then my son was late. You know, it just uh, trickled down. Just, uh, <laughs> we weren't born into earliness. Well, 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 you know, I don't have a giant penis, but I do have large balls. And when I was born, <laughs> I was the big ball baby. And my... Uh, and, uh, uh, my, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my mother said, oh, my God. She says, oh, oh, my God. He, he, look how big he is. He says, oh, that's just his balls. Let's go. Come on. I got to get home. Hey, my mother had eight kids. She was popping them out every year. There's yeah. eight, 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 eight of us. Eight, eight kids in my family. Four boys, four girls. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Who's, who was the funniest Clark, I was told? Someone the giant said. baby. <laughs> the giant baby is yeah. so yeah. He's but totally inappropriate. I mean, not that I'm not, but he has no filter whatsoever. And uh, I don't should, know oh. if I've met. You. Oh, I've you met, met him I've once. Met You'll never forget him. He's so funny, and he doesn't. He's not trying to be funny. He's just nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's my favorite kind of. Funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love just crazy. I need to meet him. Mike's kind of dry humor. I have another brother, Peter, who uh, worked for the post office for uh, yeah. like 35 years. He's funnier than me, he's but funny. he's got to get shit faced to go on. Oh. Yeah, so uh, but if we're doing three shows, so he's hammered by the second show. He can't yeah. make it through yeah. the third show. And my mother said, no, no, I'm not going through this again. Oh Stick God. with the post office. Oh I got enough God. problem with him, you know? I love that, though. Oh, my God. That's and you all look so much alike. Oh, and my sister, Debbie? It's incredible. It's unbelievable incredible. funny. I, I, yeah. Have you met Debbie? You guys know Debbie? I have, yeah. Yeah, she's hysterical. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the, uh, Rosemary's, like, really yeah. brilliant. Bernice is... Bernice is sweet funny you know yeah. and Ellen's just uh, Ellen's just crazy you know just crazy. so I mean, it, it's not uh, Bernice and Rosemary have uh, multiple sclerosis so that's why right. Mike has been riding yep. when I ride in Joe yep. you know, you know. Yep. and uh, this year I'm not riding I don't have the time to train it's like it took me like it, six it, hours a day I didn't uh, realize how much effort went into that and oh we tried God. to do it and I was trying to work and do it I, I, yo you, you've I got I used to ask them I can't, about I, training and they would be like it oh, was yeah. hard like, that is it's really hard going i mean and we live in a hilly place so yes gradual hills and i thought joe was trying to kill me i was like i can't do this oh this no this is so hard when i saw you all doing it yeah the first time that i went and followed from place to place it was such an amazing event These like the people, whole thing that well, i went uh, to send Mike off one morning. And yeah. uh, there were over 2,000 people there in the yeah. radio station, they're interviewing the TV and everything. Yeah. And I says, you know, I, I love you people, I'll be back. What he says, I'll come do it with you. Six weeks later, they called me and said, hey, we signed you up, you're already, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, no, no, you have to do it. And I said, you sons of bitches, I, said, I can't run 175 <laughs> miles, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh my God, I did, I did it. You did it? I did it, and my ass felt like a bad weekend in Walpole. <laughs> I mean, that was bad, oh my God, yeah. Bad. Bad. I was waiting for it. There was all kinds of special stuff. I was waiting stuff. for it and I loved it. They, they, put, they have to put like ball butter Don't on. Don't you and, have to like... Yes, and, they do. You yeah. do ball butter oh, and all sorts of... Oh, God, it's great. Yeah. And chafing, I uh, can imagine. Oh, the chafing. Oh, chafing. chafing, yeah. But he did it. I was like, this is, this is just amazing, you know, and Joe did it with them and yeah, I was yeah. like, that was incredible. Uh, it was it, it was a long... Hot ride. Uh, yeah, it, well, it, it was, was incredible. Yeah. And the whole time started. I was thinking, I was thinking about my uh, my sisters the whole time. When I said, yeah. I, I can't, I said, you gotta. Yeah. yeah. And then the Bruins, the Celtics, the Red Sox, and the Patriots yeah. all de- donated huge money yeah. in yeah. my name. I go, I'm oh, like, I can't amazing. let all these people down. That's right. So, that yeah. Pushes yeah. You. Uh, it does. Yeah. Oh I know. Lord. I just wanted to ride in a truck next to you guys with all the pickle juice. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, the that's, pickle that's juice. I had. Oh yeah, the pickle juice and 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 a, and a jam mustard packets. Because when you Why? cramp, What's oh, that? when you cramp up, you take a mustard packet, just stick it in your. The, the cramps go away. Yeah. Mustard? What? Yeah, mustard. Yeah, because I don't know why. Because it has vinegar in it or something? Maybe. Like I, I'm not sure. I didn't ask. I was just cramping up. And I'm going, I'm eating mustard. I'm drinking pickle juice. I'm, now they have frozen pickle juice. It's incredible. And and this year, I'll drive I'll drive the rescue truck again. Because yeah. I, I, you know, I'm still involved and I'll still raise as much money as we can. But I, I, don't, I don't have time it, to train. It's really time yeah. to Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. How many helmets did you go through? 
<laughs> he always like the videos. He's like, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, all the following videos. Every time I'm on Facebook, there's another one of my. Well, you know what? <laughs> right now, I was in Aruba uh, three three weeks ago, I guess, and uh, I um, oh I I was riding a bike. I had I, I had my bike flown down just so to ride, you know, yeah. and work out. And then I was roller skating, you know, because... I love that. I love that. that. When, when, that. When, that I, when, I, when I had my first show, I had tons of money. I was swimming in cash. And I bought a pair of roller skates, like $450 roller skates, you know. <laughs> Never <laughs> used them. So I cleaned up my luck. I had them. I said, I'll start roller skating. Oh I fell the first day. It wasn't too bad. And then I started skating. And then on like the third or fourth day, I went up in the air, came down on my ass and my back, landed so I knocked oh, no. the wind out of me. Ooh, and no. people all get gather around me to protect me from the other roller skaters and bikers and scooter people oh and they got God. me up I, and I said I can't skate anymore it was, it was yeah, thank God I had a helmet because first year I didn't have the helmet so I, helmets are good even yeah. though I hate them they're good I know. Uh, I know. Uh, yeah. so right now I have kidney stones gall stones and a compression fracture of my back oh my and God. I'm going in for major surgery on my heart in June crazy so outside I look pretty good, but inside I'm a mess. Oh my god! Fall, fall apart. You have me inside. <laughs> no, you look amazing. You're not allowed to fall apart. Oh god! Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, no, yeah. You just had a lot of heart attack. Yeah. yeah, I was on I was on Facebook, and all of a sudden I just see like him with a yeah. bunch of firefighters. Oh my just, god! Like, you're like yeah. cracking jokes about it. And I'm like that went oh, around real like, quick. Everyone's so like, anxious. Lenny was paddled. We were like, what? Oh, here's this. Uh, I'll give you the story. It. So. We left Boston, and I was feeling a little, my, my heart was a little out of rhythm, I, I guess. And when we landed yeah. in Dallas, Mike says, you don't look good. I said, I'll be fine, you know. So I drank some water, got on a plane, got off in uh, uh, Vail, and oh my God. The altitude it never affects me. It affects Mike and my wife yeah. and everyone else, but not me. And I could barely move my suitcase, just my trap, my carry-on. And he's going, you know, look. So we got back to the hotel, and I said, I'm going to lie down. And he looked at my watch. He said, your, your heartbeat is 287 beats a minute. Now, the first time anyone ever said that was a doctor that Dennis Leary made me see. And I said, isn't that an athlete? He goes, no, you moron. That's a dead man. A re an athlete's heartbeat's like 50, 55. You're 280. Be so I'm 287. And I said, I got to lie down. So Mike says, that's it. I'm, I'm going to get people. So he went down to the concierge. He comes back with six firemen. And they come walking in and they go, Hey, Uncle Teddy from Rescue Me. Hey, oh how you God. doing? I go, <laughs> not too good, right? So <laughs> then another like, guy comes in and he says, <laughs> We've got to get your hospital. Have you been paddled? Have you had the conversion before? I go, Yeah, I hold the record at the Mass General Hospital. Oh he goes, God. This isn't funny. And Mike goes, yeah. He's not being funny. He really does. Because I do. I, I hold the record. So now they, they get me downstairs, I'm going through the lobby, and there's this famous baseball player. Uh, and he goes, Lenny, oh my God, and his wife comes over, she's crying, what happened? I go, I'll tell you what happened. I said, I got a bad bag of blows, some filthy hookers, and a bottle of whiskey, this hotel blows. <laughs> It's, it's the Beaver Creek Hyatt. It's like twelve hundred a night for a room, right? We had a beautiful room. So, so they get me outside. And the guy goes, "We're not going to make it to the hospital." I said, "What are you?" He said, "Well, we're going to have to give you the paddles." I said, "No problem. Just give me the proper ball." He goes, "No, no, we're not going to sedate you." I go, "What? You're going to do it to me? Awake?" He says, "Yeah." He's always wondered like that. What it would be? He says, "You're going to hate me for the next five seconds." But he's going. Eee. Boom! I went, oh. oh, it was like being shot by a cannonball. Oh, my God. I said, you mother. He goes, I told you to hate me. He said, all right, we have, it picks up the walkie-talkie uh, headquarters. We had a successful conversion. Oh, no, go to the hospital, Billy. I said, yeah, Billy, go to the hospital. So they take me to the hospital, and they examine me, and they do all sorts of tests. And there's people coming with broken arms and legs from skiing. I'm going, look. These people need the room more than me. I'm fine now. I can deal with this. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I said, let them have the room. Well, no, you're crazy. I said, yeah, I know, but that's part of me. So I sign the papers. I get out, and I go back to the, to the suite. You know, I'm, I'm not going to stay in a hotel, uh, hospital. So two days later, I'm skiing. And then I get, I, I, even, I win the bronze medal. I, I missed the silver by a hundred tenths of a second. I was bullshit. I go, yo. I <laughs> unbelievable. Said, yeah, 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 still bronzed yeah, 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 it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. You're like... Yeah. A freak You're of amazing. I, I'm a freak of nature. You're I am. Nature. I'm a freak of nature. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, it, like, nothing yeah, about me makes so sense. No, even when you had your stroke, right? You drove yourself to the hospital. Oh my God. Oh, the stroke. Okay. Oh, I'll geez, tell you. I forgot so, about yeah, that. Oh, yeah. That, I yeah. Was so did I. Oh, That's what happened. So you drove yourself when you were having a oh fucking my God. stroke. Yeah. I, oh, so I wake up. No. And, uh, I'm all alone on the vineyard. And uh, my hands are sleeping. So I make a cup of coffee. My hands still sleeping. You're going to wake up. We got shit to do. So I sat 
looked at the computer. It looked like a Pong game. You people are too young for that, but Pong was the first video yeah. game ever. And it'd be, so I, I can't, so I call a friend and I said, am I making any sense? And they go, less than normal, Lenny. You don't oh sound right. So I pop a couple of aspirin. I'll tell you the name when I sign the contract. And I jump in the car and I drive from my place in the vineyard to Martha's Vineyard Hospital. So I'm doing like 80, 90, I figure if the cops pull me over, you know, they all know me, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I got pulled over once in the winter and they said, you know why I pulled you over? I said, because you're lonely. <laughs> okay. so, so I get I get to the hospital, right? I can't speak. I'm, you know, yeah, I'm like uh, Kirk Douglas at the end. Oh well, we're friends. He's dead now. So I go in and they say, uh, Lenny, what's up? And I go, and they go, shit. And they put me in a wheelchair and they wheel me into the emergency room and say, you're having a massive stroke. And I go, Ugh. and they, so then they shoot me in the ass with something and I get my I get my speech back. I go, oh, I said, well, I can speak again. They go, Lenny, you're having a massive stroke. I go, so what should I do? Go home and rest? No, we have you on an outbound helicopter cop to do here in 15 minutes. So 15 minutes later, this little guy comes in and goes, we have a white male, 67 years old, heart palpitations, blood pressure's through the roof. And, you know, and I'm paraphrasing because he's medical. And he goes, yeah, lack of speech, blah, blah, blah. I go, I'm saying, this guy's good. And I go, shit, he's talking about me. I, yeah. oh my three God. seconds later, in walks this six foot three brunette Amazon named Heidi. Oh my God, she's beautiful. And <laughs> all I want to do is climb to the top and yodel, right? So she's so they're strapping me in and they're wheeling me out. And people, I'm strapped to a gurney. They're wheeling oh, me to yeah. a hospital. Let hey, let hey, hey, oh, yeah, can, can I get your autograph? I go, I'm strapped. They're leaning and get a quick selfie. So they take a <laughs> selfie. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, right. I, knew, I was uh, going to ask you, like, yeah. how many times are people, oh, when oh, you're having a medical emergency, do they yeah. do that? So, so I get out to the <laughs> I get out to the helicopter and it's a small helicopter. You know, it's oh, not God. like a big one. And I'm going, holy, but if I was like I used to be when I was fat, they couldn't even get me on that. They would never take off. Oh, so they put me in and 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 Heidi's strapping me in and she says, I'm a big fan, Mr. Clark. I said, How big Heidi? Tell me how big Heidi. <laughs> she said she said, she said, she said now, have you ever been in a helicopter before? And yeah. I said, Yes, but never strapped to a gurney. I do USO shows all over the world. Yeah. I said, but never strapped in a gurney. Oh, and, and especially without a safe for it. So now <laughs> she now she's roaring and I'm thinking, wow, what if we go down? I'm gonna have to shoot through the straps just to save Heidi, you know. <laughs> We get to the, we fly up, quick flight up, and we're on, on top of the Mass General. And the helicopter's like out of control. I'm going, just turn the fucking key, turn it and drop. We're only four feet off. Jeez. So the guy turns the key. We, I think that's what he did. He, boom. And he takes off the Mass. Lenny, it's me, Kevin. I used to fly you when I flew for Ernie Bach. I'm going, it never ends. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Well, when though, he called right? me when I was late, he Every single person. was like stopping and talking to someone. And I was like, like is he talking to me or is he talking to this person? I, I was I, like, I, I don't know what's going on. He's yeah. like, I got a girl on the phone. And he's like, oh, you're this kid's dad. I was like, oh. The most amazing like, oh, thing is, <laughs> he remembers everybody. Oh, like, oh, yeah, not yeah, only yeah, does yeah. everybody know who he is, you remember like well, people well, talk here, to it, I'm like I can't believe how you well, put here's the deal together. I it, I used to have a photographic memory oh. and I could pick up a script and read it and once and know it all but then all the booze the drugs the coke everything that that damaged that but then when I had the stroke they said are you having any uh, you know uh, debilitating effects I said well no no paralysis no no and you know people sometimes can't walk for six months it's right, right. I said but you know, it, my memory's a little off, and he says, oh, it, it affects your short-term memory. And I go, isn't that the one you need? Yeah. <laughs> long-term, I'm trying to forget right, stuff. Right, but right. the short-term memory, I go, oh, so I write stuff yeah, down all the time. Really and that's why I, I wrote down 1230 Santa <laughs> Street. Uh, Devin, photographic memory, still, I'm convinced, is yeah, yeah. better memory than me or yeah, you, yeah. currently. Uh, it's, uh, my, in my defense, my boyfriend does call me Dory. Like from Dory from um, Finding Nemo, she oh, has a God. three second memory. Yeah, oh, yeah, so he'll tell me something, and I'm like, What? <laughs> <laughs> like five seconds later, because you're not paying attention. I am paying attention, but it literally just well, that's like, that's great if you guys get in fights, you you forget. I, do. I forget everything. <laughs> He's like, I pissed her off yesterday, but I'm fine today. <laughs> I'm like, It's okay. <laughs> To be clear, they fucked up the name of our barbershop's name. The sign says Center Street Cuts when it's Central Street. 
Oh, yeah. And, and, so maybe she oh, saw a sign. That maybe that shit, be that's it. Gotta be really? it. That yeah. has to be it. Because oh, if I saw God. something, that's got to be it. That or I'm just dyslexic. So then I get uh, okay. it. I'm, I'm driving all the way up yeah. that way, Central. And all the way back. I go, this has got to be it. 306. I said 306. 306. So I pull in. There's two hair salons and a, and a, and a, a, a sub shop. I get, I'm saying, oh, God. I'm in the yeah, wrong wait, place. Yeah. Like, Devin. Devin. <laughs> Devin. Please tell me I'm near this place. <laughs> He left P-Town to drive here to be with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. We love each other. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Beautiful, beautiful P-Town. Oh, like, my what God. What are you doing? What yeah, are, what you're else, doing a movie. I'm, down film, the- I'm filming a movie, and it's a serious movie. It's called Art Thief. And I play this distinguished older gentleman who's an art collector. But underneath all that, I'm like an Irish mob boss. And if you screw with me, I have you. I have you removed. Oh my god! Uh, so, I really so like this. I this hire so these guys to rob the Stuart Isabella Garden Museum. That was gonna say it. It's part it's of that. that. Cool. And the best oh part is, god. I mean, one of the best parts is, they have the artwork that was stolen. Copies of all the artwork, wow. like Christ on the Sea of Galilee. Oh I mean, god. it's the only seascape Rembrandt ever did. Yes, and I'm, that's and right. I'm, now I'm, I'm into art. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm yeah. learning all about art, and I go, oh my yeah. god, this is insane. Because yeah. Steve Martin, one of my idols, is he's a big art guy, and he's yes. got he's Picasso's, an artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's got all sorts of stuff. So I'm looking yeah. at these paintings, and I'm going, they're a copy. I can touch. Them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But oh fun. yeah, oh. <laughs> But it's 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 yeah. a brilliant film, and uh, it's going to be we'll probably out next spring, and it's going to go to all the uh, film festivals. But uh, oh, my film, my exciting. film that I did, uh, the Dirty Uber, I did this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, that yeah. you can catch, see it on YouTube. It's only yep. fifteen minutes long, but uh, I oh yeah, it's oh you're gonna love it. Gonna I got. It. Re- I've won like six film festivals with this, and we just got accepted to the International Boston Film Festival. Oh, wow. That's, wow. Uh, I think, next week. And oh uh, there's, there's a girl, Jordan Toffolo. She's brilliant. Oh, I love her. And she's she directed it, and she's... St- when I wrote this, I pictured just what she looked like. So the yeah. first day of shooting, I, I pull up, and I she walks out of the gates at Harvard. I go, oh, my God, that's her. That's the woman in my mind that I saw. Oh, wow. And she directed it and starred yeah. in it. And, uh, it's hilarious but we got turned down from so many film festivals just because of the name dirty what? uber well you can't say dirty uber and i go you idiots i am the fucking dirty uber you know yeah. so when you I see the you film it. yeah oh, it's crazy <laughs> oh because just because it's, it's the because of woke copyright. because of political correct yes. yeah. because yeah. of you me too you too uh-huh. don't touch you touch touch <laughs> me tinder <laughs> Fuck me. I mean, it's, I mean, it's unbelievable. You can't say anything anymore. No. Which is funny. Like, speaking of, like, you know, being woke, the reason I'm also really close Overly with Mike. Overly censored. He sends me midget videos every single day. <laughs> every day. I'll open my phone. The first thing that I'll see on Instagram <laughs> is Mike Clark. And it's like 15 videos of a midget. And I'm like, yes. Oh. <laughs> no. No, Keeps you laughing. No. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I, I love this. I, I've been fortunate. He does it I, randomly. I, I, yeah. I've been fortunate yeah. enough to work with a few little people, you know, and I, I only said out of respect. LPs. But midgets, they, they don't give a shit. They, they don't care. It's it's like, they know they're midgets. They've been midgets all their life. Yeah. You know, it's not like, oh, you fucking midget. Well, I'm, no. I'm got a high power right for kid. They don't give Just don't rub their head. They don't like that. But <laughs> but well, I, I have, like I, I did a okay. scene in, in Rescue Me, with uh, with um, a little person, I tried, tried, and then I did uh, Chelsea Handler's show, uh, uh, where she, she wasn't the star, but uh, she was in. It was she produced it and everything. Yeah. And there was a little person in that, Mark Mark Pro, 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 I can't say his last name right. Provenelli, Mark Provenelli, okay. and he was brilliant, a fantastic yeah. actor. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just incredible. I mean, so yeah, I I, I try I try to. Say little people as often as I can, out of respect. But it's the it's the stupid woke people. The little people don't give a shit. You know, no. Just treat them like a human. Treat them like you like you want to be treated. That's all. Yeah. A person's a person. Exactly. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Like you know, tall or whatever. Like they make fun of me for being too tall at work. A lot yeah. of times. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm sorry. But I can reach everything for everybody, so you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're in. Got a lot of that in high school. Yeah. It's always taller I get than the all tall the boys. gangly yeah. girl always. thing, and I'm like, mm, whatever. Gangly is not the word I would use for you. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you use for me? All right, next question. <laughs> you ever bang one? So, so, oh, my God. Oh, you know, no. 
Yeah. Yes, I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I was on the road. I was alone. I wanted to see what it felt like to be a giant. <laughs> uh, can call your friends. You midget or I'll run you through like a human sister. I am Kong. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, 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 my God. Made my abs hurt. All right. So, so this is called Mother, I'm Sorry. Now, I know that yeah. you're one of eight. 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 Yeah. And, and there are some crazy stories of things that I've heard that you that oh, you've done oh my God. in your in your past, which I mean, so many, so very funny things. What would you want to what would you apologize to your mother for? Oh, oh, God. Like, well, I got sober, uh, and and, and uh, my mother, uh, when you get sober, you're supposed to make amends to people, and I've been making amends to people. So about five years in, I go, Ma, I went over to the house, I go, I'm so sorry, you know, everything I put you through, wait, was staying up late at night, worrying about the phone call that I've killed somebody or someone's killed me, yeah. and I, 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 I'm supposed to make amends to people, and you, of all people, I should make amends to the most, and she said, too late. <laughs> I said, you have to wait. You have to accept my men. She goes, read the book. I don't have to accept. I can take it, but I don't have to accept that. I said, well, will you accept my? Men? She says, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. And so, yeah. oh my god, she was so funny. And that. oh god, it was like, you know, it, it, she. All right, when I, I had this, I bought a car for like fifty bucks. It was an. Old Oldsmobile, beautiful car, yeah. uh, with Cana with expired Canadian license plates. So it wasn't registered, wasn't insured. My mother goes, I gotta get the bingo. I said, I'll take you to bingo. So I grab my sister and her and I drive into bingo and the cops, the, the red lights come on. And the, the, I go, oh shit, we're being pulled over. My mother goes, are you, what are we gonna do? She said, well, someone better start speaking French. <laughs> So obviously, this humor is passed down through the Oh, oh she, my oh, mother man. was hilarious. So, I love oh, it. she was what hilarious. What was your mother's name? Jean. Jean. Jean yeah, Jean Joe Douglas. Said, uh, Joe says they called his mother Gino. Gino, yeah, I call, okay. I call her Gino. And uh, okay. so one night, uh, Frank Sinatra's bodyguard, uh, yeah. Jilly Rizzo, came to see me and he goes, you're an amazing kid. He goes, you ever need anything? I said, well, could we get a picture from from Frank to my mother? Yeah. yeah, what's your mother's name? Gino. He goes, Gino. He goes, I like it already. So <laughs> one day I'm leaving my mother's house and I see her, Frank Sinatra, to Gino, love Frank. And I'm going, Mom, where'd you get that? She goes, you, you stupid <laughs> bastard. She goes, oh my God, that's great. So I have it now, you know, she oh, passed. Oh but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's God. awesome. Oh, yeah, she was. Cute. Oh, God, I, you know. She always used to tell me, she said, Lenny, don't swear, don't swear. You know, just be clean, try to be clean, you know. And it took like 30 years to listen to her. But when I did, I started getting <laughs> all this corporate work and then more television, more film, you know. Yeah. And now, now they want you to swear. You know what I mean? It's unbelievable. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, so So now you're clean. I've, I've been to many of your shows. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I'm, I'm like, what, I don't know, I don't yeah, recall yeah, seeing yeah, a really yeah, clean yeah. one. Well, clean I, one? How, how about this? There, there was my wedding too that I was, Devin wanted to say, but she, oh, yeah. she laughed so hard. Thing ever, my brother and I told was everybody dying about this. It mostly yeah. because my uncle had to explain something to my grandfather, which just killed me. It thought it was the funniest thing ever. I don't ever. think he actually. You did like this big long speech, and it was hilarious. Like her wedding turned into like a stand up show. Yes. I mean, you and it Christine was Hurley, and like yeah. everybody yeah. said something. Yeah, yeah. And you turned and you were like, look at the women in this family. You're all in my spank bank. Oh, oh my. And I almost died. I literally was sitting there, and I'm like, this is the best day of my life. I was like, it's oh my, my mom's wedding, oh but it's my the best God. day of my oh life. Oh my God. Well, it's true. You have such a beautiful family. Oh, you're, thank you. You're all gorgeous. <laughs> and I'm such a handsome <laughs> kid, you know? He's all right. <laughs> well, I'm not gay, oh, so I, you know, I'm not going overboard. You know? No, but it was the best part about that was like you said that, and my uncle just goes like this, and oh. he's from Australia, so he rarely comes up. So the one time that he's up here is for the wedding. Oh, he thought it was amazing, and he's he dying was, laughing, he and my grandpa was, was like. What's so happy. Name? I got to tell you, yeah. one like, of the best weddings I ever went to in my life, and everyone said that because we all, oh, it was you. just so, so well, much fun. Yeah, and everybody all, got to be was, together. Yeah, yeah. yeah, everyone got to be together, and there was no like structure. You know, yeah. you, you were doing stuff when you felt like it. You know, cut yeah. the cake. I would cut the cake. I said, cut the cake. I want to keep me style. Yeah. And then, oh, it was wonderful. It was okay, like, we're very structured people. <laughs> 
<laughs> I tried Not to have very good at they it. tried to have it structured, but Joe apparently decided that he was going to go outside, inside, outside. And I was upstairs for the longest time. I go, "Would I'm starting?" I just so I started coming down as soon as I heard the music. I started coming down. They're like, "You, you came down too early." I was like. I, would Listen, you want me to wait another yeah, hour? Yeah, yeah. They're all having a party downstairs yeah, without right, me. Right, and it's your <laughs> I party. I want to go. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah, I've right. been drinking oh, like champagne upstairs. upstairs. I'm going to go downstairs, oh, downstairs and have it. It was such an awesome wedding. But it was, know, so, it was so fun. And everybody, every single guest looked absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, everybody, like, everybody, everybody looked, looked amazing. I'm looking around like, oh, these are a bunch of good-looking people. Yeah. Everyone was happy. <laughs> They were you so know, happy. everyone was so happy because you go to weddings, you always see, you see like a table full of angry people. They seem to cluster together. Yeah. I mean, look at them. I don't, I don't <laughs> single <any> table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was single at the time, they but two angry. of my, my uh, brother's uh, friends said that they would be my date while I was there. So uh, I always had a date there. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. fine with me. <laughs> you did okay. Yeah. I think you did okay. I did. Everybody oh, did. It's my ride. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right now. <laughs> Also, so preparing for this last night, too, my sister, like, she's, like, really excited that you're on here today. And she was watching Halloween last night. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So well, you got she sent murdered. me a Snapchat. And she, like, me and my boyfriend were watching it. And we're like, look at Lenny. He's really good at getting murdered. <laughs> and her head was like, I haven't watched it yet because I need to watch it when Walter's not home. Oh, my, yeah. But, like, your head. <laughs> oh, well, let me tell you about this. We... When I got stabbed after all that, uh, oh my God. There, there was, <laughs> it was a, 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 a so knife, t- a ten knife holder on the on the counter, oh, and he stabbed me. There were ten knives, and yeah. he took every knife and <gasps> stuck it into me. And I said to him, and he's pounding the shit out of me. So uh, I, I go to the prop master. And I go, can we cut it down to like five knives? Oh my he God. Goes, yeah, Lenny, we got a five knife one. So then the kid says, Mr. Clark, I'm such a fan of yours. And I go, you are? You want to stay a fan? Stop fucking killing me. I, I'm pissing blood. This kid hit like Mike Tyson. And it was so, it, every shot, dude. And I'm dead when he stabbed me. So I can't go, Ugh, or I can't move. And it's like, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Wait. And then the, the director finally says, "All right, d- d- don't don't really hit him, you know, because it's CGI I with the knife." What is it actually? Hit him. No, what? Yeah, exactly. Oh, like what is it something bro- that contracts? Like is, what is? What they, is it like a they, they, they 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 use uh, like computer generated CGI, uh, like so. But I mean, like oh my god, and and he when when he's slamming my head against the wall. Uh, Oh, I mean, I I was seeing fire. Then he pulls me through the. I did my I, I did my own stunt because they, the, the stunt guy who a good buddy of one of my friends, I said that's not working. I said, well, well, well just keep him there. We use for something else. I I didn't want him to lose a day's pay, you know. Oh my god. So they said, I, I'll do the stunt. And they go, you can't do the stunt. And I go, come on, it's candy glass. It'll be fine. I'm not gonna get. It. He pulled me one hand, pulls me right up. Through the window, down, then he sliced my throat. And the guy who did the blood work had just won an Academy Award for Suicide Squad. And he was oh so good. So the blood oh, is pumping yeah. out. And then uh, and then my, 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 my wife, my wife, they stabbed her with the fluorescent thing. To, oh, and it fills with blood. Crazy. Really good. Yeah, see, I'm going to go home and yeah, watch that. Put yeah. putting Walter to bed Wait, early what's tonight. candy glass? That's the candy story. glass is like the fake glass. You know, like, like I mean, it looks real, yeah. but it's, it's like, it breaks. If you touch it, it'll break. Isn't it made out of sugar? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, is I've it? looked up things like this because yeah. I love, like, I love creepy shit. Yeah. So I can't wait to watch this. Yeah. I was like, oh, I he, well, I watched but. the film. I couldn't believe it. I mean, he yeah. kills everyone. I mean, he's killing customers in the seats. I mean, this guy's <laughs> killing everybody. <laughs> I, it was just incredible. How long did it take to That film? scene took... Uh, the scene where he killed me took a day, oh my God. and then the scene with me flying the the, the little thing around the the, the drone. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that took a day, you know. Wow. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it. it was. Yeah, it's 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 methodical. It's like well, when I shot Rounders yeah. with with Matt Damon, uh, John Malkovich, John Turturro, yeah. Ed Norton. Dick, right? Is he really? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that makes uh, me so uh, sad. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, why do you think you don't see him working all that? People hate him. He's a uh, fucking asshole. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, I, I really know. like him in movies. Yeah. He's brilliant. Yeah, uh, yeah good actor. Well, Apparently, he sucks. To- well, incredible actor. I, I, I'll give him that. But they, the guys who wrote that wrote a big scene for me. 
and I didn't have to audition. They said, we want you in this film. I said, okay. So we go down and uh, we're sitting around the table. It's John Malkovich, Matt Damon, John Turturro. And I'm going, well, this is really big. you know. I said, I wonder who's going to screw up first, you know, because I'm thinking it's got to be me. They're all trained, brilliant actors. And it was one of my first films. And uh, so I said to John Malkovich, how are you doing, John? He didn't want to talk. I said, okay, you know, I understand. And then about three hours later, he goes up. He makes a mistake. And I go, well. We crack the ice, and he looks at me, and he starts <laughs> laughing. Now he, I can't get rid of him. Now he wants to be my best friend. And I'm saying, oh my god! So uh, it, it, I, I, I get, I get all mixed up. But oh, so then we go to Atlantic City, yeah. and I made friends with all the crew, the cast, everyone. You know, and they, I say, hey, Jerry, can you uh, give me a, a, a nice suite? He goes, I already took care of you. I said, well, I got my brothers coming. They already took care of you. So we go up on the nice. 36th floor, overlooking the water, three bedroom suite with a hot tub in yeah. the middle of the right? And yeah. so Mike, Mike, Mike shit face, he goes, hey, uh, can you send up a cot? And I go, sir, this is a, you, a three bedroom suite. What do you need a cot for? He goes, we need it for the monkey. And he goes, Mo you can't have a monkey <laughs> in the Taj Mahal. He goes, it's all right, we're moving, we're the movie people. He goes, okay, so the guy brings up the fucking cot, right? And Mike goes, he says, can, can I see the monkey? And he goes, no, he'll rip your face off. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, Mike, so Mike invites like a couple of his buddies down. And we have a full room of people. And, oh but So I'm, on, I'm doing the scene. Was there actually a monkey? No, okay. no, no. There was yeah, 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 right? So, you never so know. We're, so we're sitting at the table. <laughs> and uh, but my, my big speech is coming up. And I'm sitting next to Framke Johansson. She's a Bond girl. She's the one who Ooh. nearly crushes him with her thighs. And she's done a lot of other movies. I've done like okay. two movies. Where she's beautiful, nice yeah. girl. So uh, they uh, he comes in and goes, hey, Worm, how you doing? What's up? You want a game? I still got the same number. You know, don't, don't hesitate to call me. And I do this long, drawn-out thing. And he's standing there. And I can see he's just, he's not, he's not digging it. Yeah. And they go, cut. And he goes, Jonathan. So the director goes over, and I said, right, I turned to front guys, right now, he's telling uh, the director, can I just say, hey, worm? And she goes, he'd never do that. I ne he, he's a polished actor, he'd never do that. And all the other actors are saying, he wouldn't do that. And Jonathan Dahl goes, Lenny? I go, let me ask John, you want me to just say, hey, worm? He goes, if you wouldn't mind. I go, it's your film, John. Mm -hmm. So I go, hey, worm, I go, cut, and he comes over, he goes, well, you know, he goes, uh, hey, that seemed to work well. I go, let me tell you something. I said, I know you're a big star, and I'm just a day player, but if you ever do that again, I'll break your fucking neck. I said, look around the room. There's nobody that could stop me. I was like 370 at the time. Oh I go, God. he goes, well, maybe we get off on the wrong foot. And I go, no, the next foot's going to be right up your fucking ass. I said, you're a brilliant actor. Try acting like a human being. Mm -hmm. And I stormed off the set. Good and so when I came back later, all I got, he, he doesn't want to fuck a party. <laughs> so I got, I'm only, I only have one speaking scene in the movie, even though I'm in a little bit more, just one speaking scene. Yeah. But that's it, you know? Oh God! So I was, I was fucking bullshit. But I'm with Matt Damon, who I love. Matt, yeah. Matt, Matt yeah. is one of the nicest guys you yeah. ever meet. Oh, oh he is. he's, he's, he's a total yeah, gentleman. He just nice. seems like so, it. Yeah. yeah. Like so he goes, Lenny, like you, you want to get lunch? And this is I'm mm -hmm. coming off from fucking Academy Award, Goodwill Hunting and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, so awesome. I go, I said, uh, yeah, I said, that'd be great. So we go out, we're leaving a warehouse in Manhattan. We go out and these girls are in a convertible and they go, oh my God, Matt Damon. And they <laughs> crash into a bus in front of him. Oh and my Matt God. Go, oh, oh. I go, Matt, Matt, relax. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't freak out. It's uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That would be me. Oh, I would crash if I saw oh, that. That's amazing. God. Yeah, I pretty crazy. Crash. I'd, be like, I'd do that anyway. Like, uh, every time. I'm like a puppy that gets God. really excited whenever I see Lenny. Jeez. But I know. <laughs> Who would be? Oh, I, I mean, he's wonderful. Well, I, wonderful. I love you girls. I love you. I'm excited to go home and watch this uh, murder scene, to be honest with you, because oh, I love creepy shit. Oh, God. Like, it would... It, that's yeah. a, well, you know, the director of that movie, David Gordon Green, he's fabulous, and I he directed me in Stronger. Yeah. Now in yeah. Stronger, Stronger, I got in a fight with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Did you really? You're, you're oh, gonna, I think I heard that. Now that Jake is first of all, he's wonderful. Yeah. I have a crush. On Brilliant. Him. Oh, uh, uh, men and women. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm a big fan of that dude. Oh, he's he's fabulous. I, I, yeah. I couldn't be nice. So I did a movie with him maybe 20 years ago one of his yeah. first films called Moonlight Mile and during Moonlight Mile he walked around doing Christopher Walken action the whole movie and it was very funny very yeah. great so he turns to me at one point in the strong he goes Lenny how do you think I should finish this scene out and I go why don't you do it in a Christopher Walken voice and he goes Lenny 
do you have any idea how it is to fucking stay and carry them to keep a Boston accent? And I go, not really. He go, <laughs> He's like, I don't gotta try. So, 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 so he fucking storms off and he comes back and he sits down. And I said, Jake, I said, let me tell you something here. I know you're the star. I'm just a supporting actor. My job is to make you look even better if that's possible. I said, but I thought we were really tight as friends, you yeah. know, and I was re relaying back to when we did Moonlight Mile together. And all yeah. you did was Christopher Walken. I thought it would lighten it up. Right. I go, but I realized I crossed the line with you. And for the rest of the movie, I'm going to be on fucking eggshells, and I'm not going to be able to fucking make you laugh or fucking make you happy. So I hope you're fucking happy now. And I walk off. And then uh -huh. all the, the other actors at the table, I said, what did he say? He said, Jesus, I think I pissed off Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the movie, yeah. he comes up to me, yeah. and he hugs me. He says, we couldn't have done the movie without you. He says, mm -hmm. it was so, he broke his fucking oh. head on one shot, falling out of a tub. Jeez. I mean, he... His legs were full. I mean, it was unbelievable. And I said, I said, Jake, I said, you know, I, he says, I, I just didn't, that day we had the beef. He goes, my part. I'm sorry. So we go to the premiere. And my sister, I bring my sister in the other chair. I walk her down the red carpet. You know, she's so excited. Oh, we have awesome. hair and makeup. Take care oh, of her. Oh, yeah. Right the whole thing. The hotel. Yeah. Yep. The, the, oh, and she's. She's electrified. Goes, so I said, Jake, would you meet my sister? He said, I'd love to. I said, what's up, Bernice? He goes, oh, but Bernice. He goes, oh, my God. He goes, how do you live with him? You're, you're growing yeah. up, must have been Sam. And she's talking. And they go, Jake, Jake, we need you. He said, I'm talking with Bernice. <laughs> he was that sweet. Oh so my God, first of all, awesome. aside from his talent, he's an even better person. I love yeah. I love that guy. You know, and so I hope I got to work with him again. It was great. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Good. I'll oh, just tag along and check. <laughs> I know. Like, Hi. Money's everywhere. Hey, oh, I, I, I do like hair and everywhere. makeup. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah you do. You're a girl. Like, yes, you, know. you like, do. Hey, yes, you do. Know, I, I said, uh, Lenny just put up a video of him at... Um, in Provincetown at outside at, at a hotel on the oh, beach oh, yeah. and you're like I'm having a bad hair day I was like oh I said you should tell Lenny that you'll follow him to where yeah, I oh god oh god everywhere. oh my you know <laughs> that that that, that the, the place they put me up it's uh oh it's called the watermark in in Provincetown yeah, and the waves well, I so I left the door but it looks like oh, I had a that. crashing waves oh. and I said well, I don't want the waves coming in and ruin the carpet on the people because the, one of them's a producer yeah. And her husband's the guy who designed it. And I, I want to be invited back. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. now that I don't drink, you know, I used to get invited everywhere. Now I get invited back. So I closed the window, <laughs> I closed the I window and I could yeah. hear. I could hear the waves. I fell asleep to the waves. It was so beautiful. Oh, that's that amazing. Sounds, that I didn't think you were that close down to it. It looked like you were right. high. The, wa the waves were wow. crashing beneath the beams of the of the place. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, that yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah. And like it was stormy dream. and foggy. Oh, it, was it was just, just cool. Oh, yeah, like, it was like, yeah. romantic yeah, looking. Yeah. First time I ever went to Provincetown, I went down with Mike. Now, Mike's a big fight fan, knows every fighter, knows all of this stuff. And he goes, come on, we're going to go down and see Marvin Hagler train. And Marvin Hagler used to train at the tip of Provincetown. Really? Running into sand dunes and army boots and just like... Uh, and so we go into his, to his, his training camp yeah. and he's killing all these sparring partners. Yeah. And he looks at me, he goes... I go, is it what? Is the champ wants to spot with him? And I go, fuck you. I'm a fan. I'm not getting, these guys are going up in ambulances, Marvin. You know, we got to be great friends. You know, it, it was oh, that's, really, uh, yeah, that's yeah. a great story. Yeah, I yeah. never knew that. Oh, oh yeah, God. yeah. Spartan. I didn't know he trained that. Uh, uh, so what well, we did, a, we did a thing for the Navy SEALs a few months back. And Mike goes, yeah. oh my God, it's Canelo. And I go, Canelo? I go, who's Canelo? He goes, but the middleweight champ of the world. And I go, oh. <laughs> and so I go over and talk to him. Mike goes, he doesn't understand English. I go, oh, okay. Yeah, I was being nice. Yeah, anyway. I yeah, did, I did. Up. I was just throwing an AO on the end of everything. Yeah. <laughs> so I hear you're a good old fight over here. Yeah. <laughs> He looked at me like I had two heads, but he got he got some of my jokes when I was on stage. But okay. he's okay. unbelievable! Oh my god! Really? He, he How was, old is he? They all look like babies. They, they're young. Yeah, yeah, he's a young kid. I'm not sure. Yeah. You Michael had to be young. Yeah, bad. yeah. They got oh my Get god! Beat up In real bad. Yeah. We we actually I was watching stand up the other night and I it was honestly on Showtime. So much of it was so bad that yeah. it, like because now because of you guys 
Oh yeah. I feel spoiled. She oh, oh, yeah. I critique so much. Well, it's where I'm like, it's the funny. it's like, the I'm absolute spoiled. truth. Yeah. And uh, when we when we were starting out, I mean, it was comedy explosion. Yeah. And we didn't have comedy. And Mike says, "You don't have to go to New York anymore." I said, "Well, we'll open a club here." And yeah. he did. And the yeah. thing all and all the people that came out of Louis C.K., Billy Burr, Paula Poundstone, yeah. uh, Kevin Meany, Stephen Wright. I yeah. mean, go on and on. And yeah. the and the guys who didn't leave. Me, Sweeney, Gavin, you know, yeah. you don't want to follow any of those guys, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. and we just, we, we, you know, I remember Rosie O'Donnell came to town, and I said, I'll put you on. And she never forgot it, never forgot it. Yeah. And same thing with Leary, Dennis Leary never forgot yeah. it. Yeah. He said, you know, well, yeah. it's a great story he hates. Uh, <laughs> when my mother died, uh, everyone's called Lenny, I'm so sorry about your mom, I'm sorry about Gino, and he goes, hey, Lenny, he goes, I'm sorry about my mom, I see, I know, he says, I really love you, she loved you, Dennis, you, you were one of yeah. her favorites, and he says, well, you know, if anything I can do, I said, no, no, I'm good, so I hung up five minutes later, he calls back, and he says, hey, fucko, you don't even have a job, how are you going to bury your mother, I go, I got I got, I got this banker, I know, I'm going to get a loan from the bank, and you know, do no, 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 he goes, I tell you what, I'll bury your mother under one condition, what, he says, we don't do it cheap, I said, Okay, so we go and we look wow. at coffins, and I had no idea. Coffins, they go from like 500 to like 50,000. Oh, yeah. And really yeah, crazy. right, and Dennis is looking at one with pearl handles and gold. I'm going, oh. I go, I, I'm 40, 50 grand. I'm going, Dennis, you want to get my mother to climb out and kill me? We got something nice, you know? Yeah. Yeah. 10, 15 oh, grand range. Yeah. <laughs> then we got money for flowers. We show flowers. Then he has the oh. fire department come, and the hook and ladders oh, are up, and then a six, uh, oh. six motorcycle escort. First oh. time I was ever in a car following the cops, right? Yeah. So now, oh, right here. So now we, we, we it was a beautiful yeah. way, funeral, everything. Wow. And uh, so my wife says, well, you know, you're working again. You, you should pay Dennis back the money. I said, you know, that's right. I, I really should. So uh, we go to dinner. Uh, it was New Year's Eve. And Dennis and his wife and me and my wife. And uh, she goes, give me the chance. So I said, Dennis, I said, I just want to tell you, I'll never forget what you did for me, for my mother. That was so beautiful. And it's one of the nice things. I said, here's a check I want to give back. And his wife, Ann, she takes it, rips it up. She says, Lenny, we wouldn't be where we are if you didn't help Dennis in the beginning. Oh. I said, oh, my God. Wow, I said, so oh, I only wish my father was alive so you could bury him, too. <laughs> And my wife slapped me so hard. He's like, I wish another person died. Yeah, I'm like, oh, wow, that is so, so nice. Oh. I can't. Yeah. We're like in our yeah. field. But uh, oh, Dennis, like, Dennis he... Leary is, yep, he's up. He's super uh, nice. Way up on my favorite oh, book because oh. when he wrote that email to Joe. and Yes. Joe was so sick and he was recovering. And yeah. it, he was... One of the doctors had just yelled at him and told him that um, he was wallowing, like he was he should have been better than he was, and he was having a hard time coming off the um, yes, the the the, the treatments treatment, yeah. yeah, and he was getting depressed and it was it was awful. He was so sick, and he gets an email from Dennis Leary to do comics come home, and it was the most it, I've never, prolific, yeah, prolific. Yeah, he's in a crowd. Yeah, like when I knew Dennis, it he was, was doing. Bucky Bontondo in his yeah. disposable pants, you yeah. know, walking yeah. around at a party and taking everything off the table and throwing it in his pants. <laughs> you know, the house is clean. It looks like a million bucks. Right. So, but when he he got him, what, he got him moving, and I never got yep. to see the process that yep. before. I because uh, you know I I see you guys try out new material yep. and stuff all the time. But I never saw, that was my first time seeing how he would create From the start to finish. From scratch. Yeah. You know, and to see him do it. And that was, you know, he had a goal. He had yeah. something to, yes. to look yeah. forward to doing. And he and killed. He was so he happy killed. to do and it. He was yeah. brilliant. He did. Yeah, you know, he was brilliant that yeah. night, you know. That was, and that uh, was, like, yeah. like Dennis, is, when, you know, I he came yeah. in one night with, with these twins. Okay, and I, I said, who's the, who's the guy with the twins? And he says, uh, oh, he's a, a comedian. I says, he says, hey man, can I go on? I go, yeah, you're on next. So I put him on and I'm talking with the twins. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. One of them was his girlfriend yeah. at the time and the other one, I guess, is up for grabs, yeah. you know? But, but I, don't, I, couldn't tell him, I couldn't tell him apart, right? right? So I'm just giving it to both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so they go, Lenny, shouldn't Dennis be getting off? I go, Oh yeah, okay. Right, yeah. <laughs> so we became friends, 
And uh-huh. the girl's name was Lauren Dombrowski, and her sister was Lenny, Lauren and Lenny Dombrowski. And Lauren yeah. became a comedian. Yeah. And she became really good. And yeah. uh, she went on to be the producer of uh, uh, the, the show on Fox, uh, f- not Fridays, but some, I can't think of it now because right? of yeah. the stroke, but all these comedians. It was just, just great. Oh, and, awesome. and she was, she had yeah. cancer. So Dennis goes, hey man, we're going out to do a better for, for Lauren. And I go, all right, man. He says, you have a fucker. I go, no, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, but I didn't. You know. so, 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 uh, I, Christ, I would have, I would, I would have done Lenny. I didn't know. I could tell him apart. Lenny, Lauren, Lauren, Lenny, who's up? Who's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, fool me. So anyway. <laughs> He gets the jet and we all fly out. We do, we're in Malibu. We're doing this big performance for, for Lauren. And she comes out and she goes, You know, I have stage four cancer. And for those of you wondering, there's no stage five. So she's going, Oh my God. So she was brilliant. And we, we did it. And, and I said, Wow, what a guy to do this, you know? And then Bobcat Goway goes up. If Nikki Cox ever gets uh, brain cancer, let her die. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh God, I'm funny. Gone. Oh God, it was crazy. Oh but Dennis does so much for so many people. He does. Never yeah. forgot where he came from. You know, yeah. he, he's one of the guys who I helped, yeah. and and, yeah. and I didn't even know I helped him. You know, back then I was drinking. If I saw him, I said, "Hey man, come on, we'll right, get on Joe stage." Joe says the same, yeah, uh, yeah. same thing. He goes, Lenny brought Lenny was the first one to bring bring me up. Oh yeah. Billy Burr. Uh, what Bob, did you What did you say when you brought Joe up? And it was I don't know if you've ever heard this. I don't think. Do so. you remember what you said? No, I don't. Because something about tying him up and sending him back to his mother uh, naked in a cab or something. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah, it was. Yeah. See, I can't tell the story yeah, right because yeah, yeah. I yeah yeah I'm very bad at that. Uh, but oh yeah. god, he said you always took. He's like you always took care of me. Oh, I love Joe. Uh, I remember no. one night we were down in New York. I won't mention a guy's name, and. Uh, he invited us up to stay, to stay over at his apartment. It was a big, like, this house was on the verge, a big giant building but on the verge of being demolished. Oh. You know, okay. so, but he had an apartment. It was rooms and beds, and it was, like, unbelievable. You know, to, to rent it in, in Manhattan, right in the center of Manhattan, it'd be, like, 25000 a month to yes, rent. Yes. That's how much room there was, right? So he goes, uh, well, he can't stay. I said, what do you mean he can't stay? I said, he's with us. He goes, yeah, but you know, there's no room. I go, well, there's fucking plenty of room. So he, he, he can stay with me. Yeah. He goes, well, no, I just don't feel comfortable. I go, you don't? I, I fucking, I broke everything in the fucking place. Oh, my God. I says, come on. Oh. He doesn't stay. None of us is staying. We all left. <laughs> oh, my God. You did that for Joe? <laughs> yeah. I love oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. And so I go, Joe. Hey, they man, have I, a tight group. I, 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 I love I, that. Joe, yeah. I always won one of these. Group. It was a Rolodex. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I've always won one of these. I think <laughs> And he goes, I don't know anyone's right, number in here. I don't know anybody, but I'm taking so, it. Yeah, yeah. So everybody. it's like four in the morning. I said, we still got time before the play. Let's go. He said, what are we going to We're going to eat. He said, what are we going to eat? We're going to eat at the Hyatt Regency downtown. Mm-hmm. They have the best shitters in town. Right? So, so I, I, whenever I, I knew all, when I was a big fat guy, I had to go to the bathroom a lot. I knew oh all God. the best bathrooms. You know, I'd walk in and say, yes, yeah. uh, I'm a Delta pop. And, you know, it's, 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 oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but we had so much fun. Oh, my God. I would love God. to see that, honestly. Honestly, oh, no, but like, like I was saying, like when I was watching all these things on Showtime, like there was only one comedian that I thought was funny. Yep. But he used to be a fighter. That's why I thought about yep, it. Yeah. But I was just like, wow. I'm like these people. Like I'm watching for like five seconds, and I look at my boyfriend. I'm like, I hate it. Yeah. And he's like, you're you're literally like a comedy snob now. And yep. I was like, I'm surrounded by very funny people all the oh, time. Oh, and I'm like, it. I got to go to comics come home and like enjoy everything with you guys. I which is I like tell my favorite thing. It's oh, like Christmas. Yes. I t- I have pictures of you yeah. and Dennis. You you guys and Dennis. Yeah. 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 yeah, because there was this, there was the after party, then the this room, and then that room. Yeah. You guys go whoop, yeah. all over the place. You know that we're gonna. Oh yeah, you're everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Every- I try to stay close to the waitresses with the food because yeah. oh. you get the best appetizers oh the minute God. they come out. Oh like, God! Oh, I try God. to stay close to Lenny and all the comedians. <laughs> and I'm just like <laughs> hi, <laughs> friends. Well, the <laughs> thing, the, the, but the thing is. I tell I tell everyone this, you know. They said, "Lenny, you've had a great career, you know. Like for forty-seven years, I've been doing this. I didn't even start as a joke, you know. I didn't know what's going to do this." And I think there are so many guys that I could name funnier than me. I don't even care, but I they make me laugh. Yeah. And I, yeah. what am I? Yeah. Fun? I remember one night, Steve Wright got picked for the Tonight Show, yeah. and it, it broke my heart because they called 
the Ding Ho, they, uh, China, the, uh, at the time the Chinaman, you can't say that the Asian man, but the Chinaman, <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, tonight show on phone. I go, what? Oh, wow. phone. Hey, uh, this is Peter LaSalle. Uh, my son's going to college. We're looking at colleges. We'd like to put a showcase together of all you comedians because they read an article that was uh, uh, that I was mentioning. And yeah. I said, okay. So I said to Mike, who are we going to use? He said, with Don, with this one, that one, that one. And he, uh, and I said, what about, what about Stephen Wright? He goes, yeah, because you know, Stephen Wright was just, just Don. He wasn't even, he, he would, Stephen Wright would turn his back to the crowd and I would be yeah. coked up. I'd go, hey, turn him around. I'd physically turn him around. I go, you look at these people. They're paying your salary, you son of a bitch. you. Give them the respect that they deserve. Oh Little did I know, Steve Wright's, been wearing gloves for 30 years and mask and she he's been COVID 30 years before really? COVID oh yeah he doesn't like to be oh. touched he flips and he's got me coming up man I'm coked him around, <laughs> around spinning him around <laughs> oh, look at these fucking oh people yo, yo, oh, yeah, yeah 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 so, 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 he's the shyest br- oh, no. oh my god he's so brilliant yeah. he said I went out for I went to this restaurant the other night with twin lobsters I was so so disappointed they didn't look anything alike <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just—he's so he funny. Did, he, yeah, so, oh, you know. so he was on the radio a lot. So too, I right? saw yeah. him on Carson. It wasn't his yeah. first Carson. His first Carson was brilliant. Then Johnny was putting him on all the time. Yeah. I'm watching him. And I go, motherfucker! He goes, Lenny. Yeah. He goes, the bartender. He goes, Lenny. What? What's that wrong? I said, well, you know, that's what I—my dream. That was my yeah. goal. My dream. Yeah. Was Johnny Carson. He said, are you the only funny guy in the world? I went, no. And that's why, mm-hmm. from that moment, his name's Mark Haynes. Yeah. And I'll never forget that because it was like, it wasn't jealousy, but it was it envy. It was just like, oh, I wanted so much, you know? Yeah. And, and, yeah. It, and, it, and from that, I learned. If someone makes me laugh, I laugh. If they yes. don't make me laugh, I go, eh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was me, like, watching all these things. I was like, nope. nope. Yeah. I'm like, Jesus, I've been spoiled. And, <laughs> and there's no mistaking when, if, a, if, a, if a, another comedian hears Lenny laugh, they're so proud of that. Oh uh, well, because your you, laugh is very distinct. Oh, oh god! But yeah. you can tell they're very proud of that. Uh, they'll yeah. be like, "Was that Lenny?" Laughing <laughs> in the back? Like, yeah, he was laughing. He was laughing. It's such a compliment. Cause, well, you know what? We started. My thing was, you know, I worked. Uh, I worked Wednesdays. Wednesdays was my night. But sometimes I'd work yeah. Sweeney show, uh, and the, the crowd didn't like me as much. And I worked Gavin show, which was Friday, and they were like really. They were cerebral. Don's Don's got more degrees than a thermometer. I mean, that, that, that's a tingle said that about. Yeah. But they didn't really go for me. But Wednesday yeah. night was my night, and Wednesday night was open mic night. And Wednesday night, I let everybody in and everybody on. If, especially yeah. if you're a first timer, you got top shelf. I said, now the other guys coming in, I throw them in. If I had a if I had a new person come on that went down the fucking drain and oh my god, it was horrible. What did you do? I bring up a new, bring up one of the established guys, and he would bring the crowd back up. Then I bring out another new one, and I I put on thirty six people a night. How? But like, how many minutes? Like, how did you decide do, if you're brand new? Do you really have it I, timed? No, like, they didn't have time. But I'd let them go, and then I'd look at. I said, now keep an eye on me. I'd be okay. open the corner. Sometimes I'd be out doing lines, so they get to do ten minutes right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd be at the door smoking a drink, blowing it out. And, All right, you're done. Let's you're go. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I forgot <laughs> about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fun. And if the crowd was laughing, but the minute he lost the crowd, yeah. I, or he or she, yeah. uh, I had a guy. Oh my god, I had a guy. I think he was from Harvard. He was a quadriplegic who blew into a straw to move his wheelchair around, and he could talk. But he goes, now I'm going to do a scene from Saturday Night, Saturday Night Fever, and he blew into his chair with spit. <laughs> So, so we had to build That's a fucking great, ramp. Yeah. We, well, not legally, but we had to build oh. a ramp to get his fuck, a big fucking 500 pound wheelchair to get him in. Yeah. You know, so we had God. some guys, we, we gave him some blow, they put fucking boards down and built us a ramp, right? For the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow will take so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then that fucking guy never come back. He never came back. Then there was a guy, oh. Lenny the Loser. He would come in an ice cream truck and have a trumpet. He goes, now I'm going to play the high C. Do you know what the high C is? And we all go, no. Yeah. And he goes, ah, Lenny, Lenny's a winner, but me, I'm loser, loser, loser. And the crowd would go, loser. Loser, loser, loser. Oh and then, then he'd, he'd play the trumpet. 
and then he'd fucking throw out ice cream sandwiches to everybody in the crowd. Fucking insane. Like, uh, see, uh, there, was, so uh, there is nothing, and there will never be uh, anything uh, like that. Oh, again. no, no, no. And there was a guy named Mr. My Way who offered the crowd. He goes, before I start, yeah. I just want to let you know, I will give $5,000 to anyone that can introduce me to Mr. Frank Sinatra. And, and <laughs> right, uh, that, uh, He drove around with a giant shark on his car. Why? No fucking explanation. Just a <laughs> giant shark. Real, like the one in Jaws on his yeah. fucking little like yeah. Honda or some I shit. I love right? that. Oh, yeah, right. And he wasn't a bad looking guy. He was dressed pretty nice. Yeah. And he goes, okay, and now for my finale, I, I, any woman, any woman can come up in the crowd and bite my arm, bite the skin right here. And if I scream, you get $50, right? So women would do it. And then one, yeah. woman, one, one woman came. Yeah. She was a pretty heavy woman. She came up and it latched onto him like a bull terrier. And he said, <laughs> blood, you see blood. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said, did he scream? The crowd, he screamed! He <laughs> <laughs> had to pay him 50 bucks. That's a, that's a fun and way to get, get a, a tetanus shot. Oh, oh. I would be getting tested for a lot of different things oh after that. Oh, my Someone's God. Blood wow. Wow. Yeah. So it was, yeah. it was, this was like America's Got Talent, but on crack. But on crack. Like, in like this but small literally on cocaine. Place. America's, literally got, on America's cocaine. Cocaine. Got Talent, but it's touch of a gong show. Jeez. Yeah, the gong show. And I was the ringmaster, and I did it. I did it for years, and the people that that, that got their starts, they're they're, yeah. they're they're fucking famous now, though. Yeah. And they all remember, yeah. you know. And any time a famous comedian came to town, they would go to the ding hall. Yeah. And they'd say, "Is, is Lenny around?" I say, "Oh yeah, you're on. You're on next." We had yeah. a Whitney Brown who was on Saturday Night Live. He was also a writer. Yeah. He yeah. would juggle chainsaws and axes and shit. Unbe oh, one night I went in with a chainsaw. Someone left a chainsaw at my house because I had the barracks. That's where the, a lot of comedians live. Oh, you know, yes, and, yes. And like, they, they, Harvard made a movie yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable, right? Yeah. 40 grand they spent 30 years ago, 35 yeah. years ago. 40 grand then, right? I mean, it was unbelievable. They Jesus. followed us around for a month. So now, uh, this, this, hey, Whitney, someone leaves a chainsaw at my house. So I take her to work with me one night and I go, I, I, I smoke a joint and I go, I go, I go, I go, I go, I go, right, so go this will be fucking great. So I, ring, ring, I start up and I walk through the room with a chainsaw because it was tight. You had to wiggle away through the table. Ring, ring. I get up and I cut a fucking table. And, and I cut a table. Now, Little did I know, there's a bracket under the table, Ooh. like about this wide, but I cut right here. Had I hit the fucking bracket, the chain could have went out, took someone's fucking face yeah. off, right? So <laughs> yeah. if it wasn't taken, you know, drunk and coked up and, and stoned, and I go, <laughs> and I go, then I go so any hecklers tonight? You know, because, and, and, and the, oh, no, 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 I put the fucking chains on. Oh my God, it was insane. Speaking yeah. of hecklers, you knew how to control yeah. I actually, I heard a story about you last weekend because I went to a knife convention don't ask why. I have no idea why it was, it's a thing. But this guy started talking to me like about like comedians and stuff, and I was like, oh my god! Like he like brought you up, and I was like, I know him. He's like, I love him. I was like, he doesn't know, but like I will marry him one day. <laughs> <laughs> His wife might kill me, but it's fine. I'm like, she, she could use the break. Right. Believe me. I'll help her out. I'll be wife number two. We can be sister wives. So it's fine. But he started telling me about like how he went to one of your first shows and that he heckled you. Mm. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, you, you heckled. And I'm like, as someone that skin. knows you, I'm like, you're dumb. Oh, like, <laughs> well, but he said he put his feet up on the stage yeah. and was I think pissing I you off. I recall a story about said, a guy that did that. No, but then he said that you gave him a card at the end of the show that said, I'm with Lenny. Yeah. And I was like, I don't, did you actually give out yeah, cards? Yeah, I, I used that? to give out cards to people that, that yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and I would say, I'm with Lenny and you would get a free admission, you know? Uh, yeah, and my show was sold out. It started... We started uh, doing, I think it was two bucks to get in, and by the time I left, it was $25 to get into an open mic, and people had wow. condo tables. They were there every week. Oh so God. that forced me to create wow. new material every time. So yeah. I did one show, it was gone. I never never repeated it a second. You know? yeah. And some people taped some of it. That's why a lot of that stuff from when stand-up stood out was all my tapes that people were taping to me, and I, I should tape the other people too, and it, but it was yeah. the, the majority that was me, because I had all these people. See, yeah. They couldn't believe. See, I didn't know I was going to be a comedian. Yeah. I was a fucking janitor at City Hall. I went down one night, yeah. drank see? a couple beers with the other guys. I took all the other janitors out the work. We saw Sweeney. I went, oh, I want to do that. You know? 
And I go, yeah. So it was fun, fun. And Sweeney, oh my God. So Sweeney, I had a character, I was doing these gong shows called The Grand Wizard of Comedy. And I had a turban and crazy glasses yeah. and uh, shoes that change color when you pour water on them. And <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah. What and is this Lime green oh pants God. and this multi colored jacket, right? And then. I had a balloon with water in it and said, oh, you're making me nervous. I pinned the and I wet my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. And people are going, did you? So, I mean, it was oh nutty. God. So I go up to Sweeney one night. I said, hey, man. I said, I, I, you're the first comedian I ever saw. You and I are going to be real good friends. He goes, we're going to be friends. You want to be my friend? He goes, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Jumps in a cab, takes off. So I jump in a cab, fall in that cab, right? So we, oh end up, we end up in the combat zone and he's in there with a couple strippers. I go, and I'm with the turban and the fucking wet pants and all this I go I don't think you understand we're gonna be good friends goes, give me a minute and he and I think he's going to the men's room he leaves he leaves I, fucking, I didn't see him for weeks no. after yeah, yeah. we'll be friends oh, oh God. Yes, I'm gonna stalk you to you guys yeah. I was like I'm gonna love you until you love me back you stalk you until, you until you become my friend Oh, That's my plan with most. It was a people. good plan. <laughs> I'm Lenny, like, I you have, down. Lenny's got Lenny's very busy. You're gonna have to let him go. Yeah, I, even it, since it, you I, were late and everything. Yeah, apologize I mean, again. I'm really sorry. I'm okay. I'm not Lenny, sorry I'm to sorry. her today. Lenny, Lenny I'm, I'm sorry. I'm changing the title for today is uh, to Lenny. I'm sorry. Uh, oh well, I, I love you, you more than anyone. I love you, girls. You I have, love uh, your sister, your brother, the whole family. It's just terrific. And we love you. And it was such such a treat to spend time with you. I know. I was like, when you actually said that you would do this for me, no. yeah. I think I started like freaking out like internally. But when you called me about it, I was like, holy shit, he's really going to do it. She and I don't even so have your sad. number. I, I got the interweb shit. What are you with? Yeah, the <laughs> what, what, on Facebook. Facebook time or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I loved it. I, I don't know if you heard me, but so my son knows exactly who you are <laughs> because every time your commercials come on, yeah. I'm like, what? And I like, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm do you like, know what? Oh, what like, let me, uh, uh, last story. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the Sokolov commercials. The director of this film was in Massachusetts working on the movie, and he heard the Sokolov commercial. He turned and he went, That's my Aiden O'Brien. And I got the movie, no audition, no nothing, from the Sokolov commercial. That's awesome. No way. Yeah, I oh can't believe that. And okay. so, this is the first time I ever told that story. I and uh, I, so I, I, I'm that. so, you know, I can't wait to be on the, the other shows because I really think this movie is going to, well, it's, uh, it's a serious role. Uh, no fucking around by me in this yeah. No, no, okay. no trying to be funny, no, nothing. Yeah. I'm just like, and, I, yeah. and I'm a badass. I'm yeah, I, I, I that is. It sounds I'm like the perfect role you. for you. Like yeah. it, mom, just, boss, uh, Irish man. Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. perfect. perfect. And you look yeah. the part. The whole well, you know everything. I mean? Thank you. Yeah. But I was. I ex get so excited. I'm sorry. I literally get like every time your commercial comes on, I, my son's literally like, "Hey, mom, look, it's your friend." And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> I'm like, "That's right. He's my friend." Yeah. <laughs> yes, like, I hey. yes, I am. Yes, I am. I absolutely love it, and well, I was so excited. Well, thank you so much, Nico. You want to say something? Oh, that movie. So it was it your idea, the movie with the um, the, the Arc Thief movie? The no. Thief movie. Oh, God, no. Okay. Oh, no, the, this is written by the director and his wife. It's a beautiful piece. But you're the main uh, character of the movie. Uh, well, I started as six. I think I'm th the third lead now. That's, <laughs> That's so great. That's amazing. Uh, and, the, and the kids, they're, they're kids. I'm working with kids. Yeah. And they're brilliant. They're very handsome. They're attractive, the girls in the film. Yeah. And they're all kids. They're yeah, all kids. Yeah. Like, I got kids. shit in my freezer yeah. older than them. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? They must love you. Yeah. I mean, oh my God. They I must have so much. so much fun with you. But yeah, like I said, I, yeah. I literally, when you called me, I don't know if you heard me or not, because then I looked down and was like, oh God, I didn't even hang up yet, but I was <laughs> screaming and jumping around <laughs> in the house just to show like how much I actually really do love you. No, I was on the set. I, I was, was on the like, set. <laughs> and I said, uh, I, I think we, because I, I, I did something for a friend. Uh, at the garden, at the the Bruins game yesterday. Yeah. So uh, I, I sat with her dad. And it was just it was, she's yeah. so sweet now, and it was really nice. And I said, uh, before I go back, I'll be able to you know do do this with you Sunday. So there we go. I love you. Thank I love you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, you give you. me Jeff Nico. You guys rock. <laughs> Are they I the rock, sweetest? Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. First All right, I got a pee. Get out of here. I love you. Yeah. That was it. That was it. Okay, but also, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, You're uh, my favorite. Uh, and I'm I'm so, Mother, I'm so sorry. Spoiled. Mother, I'm Mother, sorry. sorry. Oh, how many times have I said that? <laughs> if I had a doll of every time I said that, I'd be Richard and Bezos. Same. <laughs> All right,
Thank love you. you. Love you.